to solve a linear programming problem, we must first um, look at the setup. This part right here is called the objective. And these linear inequalities here are called the constraints. So to solve, in our case, a linear programming problem with a linear objective and linear inequality constraints, we will first of all need to graph the linear inequalities. So graphing y minus x is less than or equal to 2, we could plot the intercepts of 0, 2, and negative 2, 0. The shading here would occur towards the ordered pair 0, 0, because 0, 0 is a solution to that first inequality. So this is y minus x um, equals 2. The second inequality uh, passes through the ordered pair 0, 4 and 4, 0. And so this is the line x plus y equal 4. And again, the ordered pair 0, 0 is a solution, so we'll shade below that line. The third constraint can be broken into two inequalities. x is greater than or equal to 0, and x is less than or equal to 3. x is greater than or equal to 0 is the vertical line that is the y-axis. And the greater than or equal to 0 tells us we'll shade to the right. The line x equal 3, so I'm going to write down here x equals 0. The vertical line x equal 3 is right here. And we would shade to the left because x has to be less than or equal to 3. And finally, the last one, y is greater than or equal to 0, is this horizontal line that is the x-axis. Now, we'll shade what's called the feasible region, which is the intersection of all the shadings, which in this case will be this region here. This happens to be what's called a convex polygon, or a non reinterrent polygon, which means um, if I try to draw a line that passes through the feasible region anywhere, um, it can't leave the feasible region and then come back in. So when that happens, we're guaranteed to have a maximum and a minimum value to occur at one of the corner points. So the corner points here, we've got the ordered pair 0, 0, uh, the ordered pair 3, 0, the ordered pair 0, 2, and the other two, we'll need to do some figuring here. This ordered pair here is on the line x equal 3, and it's on the line x plus y equal 4. So the solution then tells us x is 3, then y must be 1. Likewise, we can see this point here is the intersection of the ordered pair or of the lines y minus x equal 2. And x plus y equal 4. If I solve that system, let me rewrite it here, x, or negative x plus y equal 2, and x plus y equal 4. Using elimination, um, 2y must be equal to 6, y must be equal to 3, and if y is 3, according to this equation here, x must be 1. So that other last ordered pair that's a corner point is the ordered pair 1, 3. Now let's consider our objective, p equal 2x plus 3y, at each of these corner points. At the ordered pair 0, 0, p evaluates out to be 0, because 2 times 0 plus 3 times 0 is 0. The second corner point, we get the, use the ordered pair 3, 0, which 2 times 3 is 6, plus 0 is still 6. The third 
corner point, um, we also get 6. The fourth corner point, we're going to get the ordered pair um, 6 plus 3, which is 9. And the last corner point, uh, ordered pair 1 to 3, is going to be the value of 11 because we get 2 plus 9, which is 11. So here we can say we have a maximum value of 11 at the ordered pair 1, 3. And that's our solution to this linear programming problem.